today we are going to do an uh, experiment on paper chromatography. Uh, this is another requirement of your CBSE board syllabus, practical syllabus. So for paper chromatography, I have taken this paper strip. This is a uh, filter paper, Wattman paper, filter paper number one. Uh, this filter paper has water already absorbed in the pores in the fibers of this paper and this is going to behave like chromatographic paper now just remember principle of chromatography is based on differential rate of absorption of the various components of a mixture so this is a mixture of red and blue ink that we need to separate and for this i am preparing this chromatographic paper two centimeter from the base i've drawn a line and center of this line here i'm going to spot the mixture of red and blue ink this is a mixture of red and blue ink and i am going to use a capillary to spot this now while putting a spot you have to be careful the spot should not be very large in size but it should be dense so how do we get a dense spot which is not very large i'm going to touch here once and let this spot dry we will let this spot dry and then again on the same point we will put another spot on the same point just to make the spot dense so that there is uh, more mixture in this spot but it is not a diffused spot it should not be a large sized spot this has dried so I am going to spot again so we will repeat this two three times by capillary action now why are we using a capillary this capillary is uh, allow to have a concentrated spot which is not spread out which is not diffused so we use a capillary to make a spot now once this one dries uh, I will repeat the spotting third time so I will repeat the spotting third time now and dry the spot. Now this is a gas jar containing the solvent. The solvent which is going to act like the moving phase in chromatography. So I am going to take this strip of paper where we have put a spot 2 cm from the baseline and I have simply put a pencil in this. You can put a stirring rod, a pencil, anything in order to uh, suspend it straight and vertical. So I am going to suspend this into this gas jar so that the solvent does not touch the spot. Suspend this in a gas jar taking care that water level does not touch the spot. The water level should not touch the spot. So we are going to suspend this in gas jar and cover the jar from above. I am going to cover the jar so that the solvent doesn't evaporate and the entire setup should not be disturbed. And make sure this paper is vertical, it is not folded. Uh, you do not disturb the gas jar till the process is over. Liquid as it rises, as the solvent rises, it carries the ink with it and this will lead to separation of red and blue inks. So we are going to wait for some time for separation to be completed. The liquid should not touch the walls of the glass gas jar. This should not touch the sheet should not touch the walls because in, if it touches the walls of if the sheet is curled or it's not vertical then there will be a diffused uh, final product. The spot will diffuse and we will not see a clear endpoint. So this is our final product ready. I'm going to I'm going to remove this from here, dry it and then measure the RF factor. This will be dried, dried and then measured. So now in this I'm going to mark this line this line this point this and measure the distance of the base line till this line of wetness which is called the solvent front this is called solvent front solvent front is the line till which the solvent moves 
so distance of base line to the solvent front i'll measure then the center of the red point and center of the blue point we are going to make spots and measure these distances so i'm going to measure the rf factor rf factor which is also called retention factor or retardation factor this is rf factor for blue ink this is measured as the ratio of distance moved by blue ink which is 1.6 cm from the baseline to the center of this this distance is 1.6 cm from here to here so this is 1.6 upon 8.2 8.2 is the solvent front that is this wetness line from the baseline this is 8.2 so distance moved by blue ink upon distance moved by solvent front this is rf factor for blue ink and now rf factor for red ink this distance of this point till the baseline is 3.6 this divided by 8.2 the solvent front this is rf factor for red ink so rf factor for blue and rf factor of red is measured and this pattern this paper final product is called as a chromatogram this is called a chromatogram so this is our final product of paper chromatography a mixture of red and blue inks has been separated using a solvent which can be water or a water alcohol mixture in case your paper gets curled it is not straight or it touches the walls then you might get a pattern of this kind so the the points the inks have diffused and you're not getting a very clear chromatogram so you have to avoid this kind of pattern please mark this is incorrect this is the wrong observation